Welcome to Premium Preview, the series where I battle test premium vehicles, give you my two cents, and show you what you're getting into before you make the purchase. My last video was on the Sav's dumber brother, and today I've got the Sav itself, a Swedish SPG. And before we get into the gameplay, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this savvy tank destroyer. To begin the story, you need to be familiar with Bofors, a former arms manufacturing company based out of Sweden. The year was 1948, and the head of Bofors felt it was time to propel themselves into a tank making business. But with anything complicated that must be built, designs had to be drawn up first. Drawing inspiration from destroyer class ships, they designed a 120mm cannon with an autoloader. At the start of the next year, a prototype was built and showed off, but the Swedish military was unimpressed with just how expensive it was, both in materials and money, and ultimately, the project was over just as fast as it began. Now I know you came here for gameplay and not a history lesson, so thanks for sticking through and let's finally get into the action. Wow, those... those new voice lines are so good. I didn't know that they were implementing new voice lines until literally today when I heard them for the first time. I, like, I was very confused at first, but uh, the updates that they're including in the roadmap, all of them are very good. I didn't see a single bad thing, so I'm very excited. Honestly, all of the sound changes, I'm very excited for. They changed the artillery sound, they changed the voice lines, and I see that they're messing around with engine spooling, which is also very cool. That guy's just sitting there staring at me. Give him the old slip. No! I feel so bad. I really wanted to help him. One thing I have noticed is this thing has extremely good reverse speed. It does really good all around everything. I think it turns very fast. I think the reverse speed is more than optimal. I think it's normal speed is also very, very good. And just the fact that things an autoloader. Of course, with such a good design comes the drawback that it's open top which means I'm especially susceptible to Cass, but I think that's a more than fair trade-off. That's unfortunate. Let's duck into our little hidey hole. Wow, the Sav is... Traversing really fast, actually. Look, dong gun. I love the Sentinel. I actually did a video on it, and if you want to see that video, it is actually up there in the top right somewhere. Truth be told, I was not expecting to get a kill there. I was expecting to get five kills. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um. I'm now gonna push up to try and secure the bridge. I already hear an enemy vehicle up here. Jesus. I... He was so fast, I didn't even have a... Uh, I knew he was coming, I just was way too slow. It's behind me. I'm gonna check the bridge. I don't see him. So now I'm gonna double back and watch this doorway. Yeah, I'm pretty loud. I hear another one. Wait, 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 I hear another one. Hold on, hold on. Is he at the bridge? 
Oh my gosh, hold on, I got a back. I, I got a double back. That's not good. There's a guy in here named Kurt Nispel. Okay. Oh, it was the Kurt Nispel. I've just killed one of the greatest tank commanders of all time. Or is he the best? I don't remember. I get called a wearaboo a lot, so I'm hoping that me not knowing exactly who Kurt Nispel is other than he's a tank commander, I'm hoping that clears my name, sets the record straight that I'm not. Jesus, that Matilda, a thousand kilograms of pure hatred dropped on his head. You know what, I would say that was a success. I'm gonna tell it to you straight, I am awful with SPGs. I'm impatient and I like to be right up in the combat, so using the salve like it was intended is pretty hard for me. I acknowledge just how strong of a vehicle it is though and give it a 9 out of 10. It's got a pretty good boost for research points and an alright boost for Silver Lions, but it's one of Sweden's only premium ground vehicles. So if you're interested in grinding the tech tree faster or simply want to collect premiums, I think you should definitely pick it up the next time it's available. It's also clearly very strong in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing, and I've died to it a lot. So if you enjoy being the team sniper, that's just another reason why I'd recommend buying it. Anyways, got any premiums you want to see next? Leave a comment and I just might make a preview. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Alright, that's all for now. See ya.